Today, we're diving into some of the most exciting customization features leaked from Samsung's One UI 7.0. Even though Samsung didn't officially showcase it at the Samsung Developer Conference 2024, leaked videos have given us an up-close look at some of the new features coming our way. We've had a lot to unpack from redesigned widgets to a refreshed quick panel. Let's dive right into what's new. In a recent video from YouTuber Mobile Wallabai, we see a deep dive into One UI 7.0's customizations that are set to make Samsung devices feel more personalized and user-friendly than ever. Last week, we got a sneak peek, but this latest video takes things to another level, revealing detailed options for customizing quick settings, lock screen, and much more. Let's start with a quick panel. One UI 7.0 introduces a two-page layout here. The first page is now solely dedicated to notifications, while the second page is designed for all your quick setting toggles. This layout gives you a more organized and cleaner experience, allowing you to manage notifications separately from other settings. However, if you prefer the classic style, Samsung has included an option to merge both pages back into one, giving you the freedom to choose how you want your quick panel to look. Additionally, you'll be able to rearrange several of the quick setting toggles and sliders, so if you have specific toggles you reach for more often, you can position them right where you want them. One UI 7.0 brings several notable changes to the lock screen. You can now adjust the placement of the lock screen clock and mini widgets to fit your personal aesthetic or convenience. This flexibility lets you arrange your screen exactly the way you want, adding a level of customization that many Samsung users have been waiting for. A new UI element in the form of a pill-shaped icon appears at the bottom of the lock screen. This icon serves multiple functions. It can display your emergency contact information, show a charging animation, and provide quick access to other handy tools. It's a small change that adds significant functionality and style. Samsung has also updated the icons for a few essential apps, including the camera, contacts, and gallery apps. Each icon now has a fresh, modern look aligning with One UI's sleek design language. Moving on to notifications, you'll notice a completely new look. Each notification now appears larger, adopting a pill-shaped design. The notifications are clearer and easier to read, with a more substantial blur effect in the background, enhancing the visual appeal without distracting from the main content. One of the standout features of One UI 7.0 is the updated widgets. Samsung is introducing new widgets for images and stories and secure Wi-Fi, adding more functionality to your home screen. These additions give users more interactive and visually appealing ways to engage with their apps. In addition, existing widgets like battery, device care, screen time, and weather have all received a redesign. They now sport sleeker graphics, making them look cleaner and more polished. These redesigned widgets are more than just eye candy. They it's safe to say that Samsung is listening to its users, focusing on both aesthetics and functionality. If these leaked features are any indication, One UI 7.0 is set to give Samsung users an even more personalized experience. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments which feature you're most excited about. And if you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more updates about One UI 7.0 and other tech news. Catch you in the next video. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display now.
onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch OLED display that also supports 120 hertz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's 18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.